Papa, look what a mess those children have made. Yes, Ria. I wonder which school they belong to. There goes their school bus. Haven't they been taught to keep their surroundings clean? They came here for a picnic. and they have ruined a beautiful playground how will we ever be able to play here again children always remember never to litter any playground or open space with rubbish plastic bags leftovers of food etc now the caretakers gardeners and sweepers will have to work so hard to clean up the place again yes children always remember when you go for a picnic with your schoolmates don't litter the place like these children have done just as we sweep our homes to keep them clean We must make sure that our surroundings are also clean. But Papa, the children in our neighborhood all keep their surroundings very clean. Come with me and I will show you. Yes. Let us see how the children keep their surroundings clean. Who is this young girl, Ria? She is Seema. Seema always sweeps her house clean. She puts the rubbish in the dustbin. What about the area around her house? Does she keep that also clean? Yes, Papa. She also cleans the area around the house. She picks up all the dirt and rubbish. and puts it in the garbage bin here are sayed and john they look very upset to see the way these students have ruined their playground do you know papa sayed and john go to the playground early they collect paper scraps and plastic bags and keep them near the garbage bin Why do they keep it at the side? Why not in the bin? They put the wet garbage into the garbage bin. Smart kids. They have learned that you must always separate the wet garbage from the dry garbage. This helps in recycling or using the garbage again. for other purposes these are the different ways of saving our natural resources and the environment what are these two girls doing who oh, papa mary and rita looks like they haven't finished all the water in their water bottles as mary and rita Return from school they water the roots of the roadside plants with the water left in their water bottles and you know papa nikhil aslam and nandan's big brother makes sure that the little children from this area do not use the roadside as toilets or latrines Who is the smart looking boy coming along Raj? So hum he is the cleanliness monitor of the school. He reaches school half an hour before the school bell. And what does he do to keep the school clean? He helps collect the scrap paper and plastic bags and puts them in different dustbins. Do you know papa the school always wins the cleanliness award Come let us all work together to clear up our playground 
Look at all the rubbish and scrap papers lying around. We have always been told if you find rubbish, scrap paper, stubs of pencils, plastic bags littering the school, put them in the dustbin and tell others to do the same. A banana peel. What if someone slips on it? That is why our teacher kept telling us if you find banana skins, big stones or pieces of glass on the road, clear it away. And never spit on the roads. So children, I agree you all work very hard to keep your houses and the surroundings clean. Our teachers have also told us to plant trees in the surroundings if there aren't any. And we must also look after them well. Always remember children, besides safe food and water, it is very important to look after your surroundings. Due to unclean surroundings, food, water and air also gets unclean or polluted. Germs grow and infectious diseases spread. Can you correct the following sentences and rewrite them? One should litter one's surroundings. One should keep the surroundings clean. One should throw rubbish on the school ground. One should not throw rubbish on the school ground. One should spit on the road. One should never spit on the road. One should throw away the water left in the water bottle. One should pour the water left in the water bottle on the roots of the plants along the road. Can you fill in the blanks? Throw rubbish from the house dash in dustbins throw the rubbish you find on the road dash in garbage bins grow dash in the surroundings trees Keep your house dash every day. Clean. Germs grow and dash diseases spread. Infectious. Due to unclean surroundings, food, water and air get dash. Polluted. Can you say whether the following statements are true or false? Keep your surroundings clean. True. One should mix all the garbage and not sort it into dry and wet garbage. False. Allow children to use the roadside as a toilet or a latrin. False. Plant trees in your area if there are no trees there. True. Due to clean surroundings, food, water and air get polluted. 
फॉल्स विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर द राइट थिंग्स टू डू एंड विच आर रॉन्ग राइट रॉन्ग राइट रॉन्ग राइट 